Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Let us start the second session on the chapter problems on numbers, LCM and HCF. Now, let us start with the first question. The sum of two numbers is 156 and their HCF is 13. Find the number of pairs of such numbers possible. Now, to tell the answer for this question, we need to know some basic points. Now, HCF is highest common factor. Now, first of all, what is a factor? Now, if I say A is a factor of B, then B should be a multiple of A or B is exactly divisible by A. Now, this is the first point and in the question it is given that the HCF of the two numbers is 13. So, definitely both the numbers should be multiples of 13 and there is one more point that we must know here that is co primes. Now, what are co primes? If the HCF of two numbers is 1, then they are co primes and some simple point here is two even numbers can never be co primes and if I say A is a multiple of C, where C is not equal to 1, then A and C can never be co primes or A and B are the multiples of C where C is not equal to 1, then A and B can never be co primes. So, if two numbers are co primes, then the HCF of the two numbers should be 1. Now, let us start solving the problem. The sum of two numbers is 156. Now, I assume let the two numbers are A and B. So, A plus B should be equal to 156. And it is given that the HF of the two numbers is 13. So, if the HF of these two numbers is 13, both A and B should be multiples of 13. So, I write A as 13x and B as 13y. 13x plus 13y is equal to 156. I take out 13 common. Thirteen into x plus y is one hundred and fifty six. So x plus y is one hundred and fifty six by thirteen. Solving this, we get x plus y equal to twelve. Now, what are the values that can be assigned to x and y so that x plus y is twelve? Now, the possible values here are one eleven. 2, 10, 3, 9, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6 and 6. Now, will all these 6 pairs here satisfy the given condition or not? Let us check. Now, if I take 1 and 11, 1 and 11 are the values of x and y, then the numbers will be 13 into 1 and 13 into 11. Now, 13 into 1 is 13, 13 into 11 is 143. So, definitely 13 plus 143 is 156. So, sum is okay. Now, the HF of these two numbers is 13. So, 1 and 11 is a pair which satisfies the given condition. Now, next let us take 2 and 10. Can 2 and 10 be the pair which satisfies the given condition? Now, if I take 2 and 10 as a pair, then the numbers are 13 into 2, 13 into 10. Now, 13 into 2 is 26, 13 into 10 is 130. So, sum becomes 156. So, that satisfies. Now, what about the HCF? Now, if you look here, the HCF of these two numbers, I can take out 13 common and out of 2 and 10, again I can take out 2 common. That is, this 10 can be written as 
2 into 5. So, the HCF of these two numbers will be 13 into 2, 26. So, 2 and 10 cannot be the pair. In the same way, 3 and 9 also cannot be the pair because from 9 again 9 can be written as 3 into 3. So, if I take 3 and 9 as the values of x and y, the numbers will be 13 into 3, 13 into 3 into 3. So, the HCF of the two numbers will be 13 into 3 that is 39. But according to our question, the HCF should be only 13. So, 3 and 9 can also not be the pair. 4 and 8 is also not the pair. 5 and 7, yes, it is the pair. 6 and 6 is not the pair. Now, the simple point here is select the pairs which are co-primes. Now, 1 and 11 are co-primes, 2 and 10 are not co-primes because 2 and 10 are both even numbers. So, 2 and 10 are not co-primes. So, I cannot take 2 and 10 as a pair. 3 and 9 are also not co-primes because 9 is a multiple of 3. 4 and 8 are also not co-primes because both are even numbers. 5 and 7 are co-primes because the highest common factor of 5 and 7 is 1. 6 and 6 obviously are not co-primes. So, how many pairs are possible? 2 pairs. So, the answer for this question will be 2 pairs. Now, let us discuss one more problem of the same type so that you can practice. Now, all of you try to solve this problem. The sum of two numbers is 187 and their HCF is 17. Find the number of pairs of such numbers possible. Solution. I assume the two numbers are A and B. So, A plus B equal to 187. The HCF of the two numbers is 17. So, definitely both these numbers should be multiples of 17. 17x plus 17y is equal to 187. We can take out 17 common. x plus y is 187. So, x plus y is 187 by 17. x plus y is 11. Now, what are the values possible where I can assign for x and y so that x plus y is 11? 110. 29384756 but i need to select the pairs which are co-primes 1 and 10 are co-primes 2 and 9 are also co-primes 3 and 9 co-primes 4 and 7 co-primes 5 and 6 co-primes so all the five pairs are co-primes so how many pairs are possible five pairs so, the answer for this question is 5. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. The product of two numbers is 1728 and their HCF is 12. Find the number of pairs of such numbers possible. It is a similar type of question, but previously we had some. Now, it is product multiplication. Now, the solution for this problem, once again I assume let the two numbers are A and B. So, A into B is 1728 and the HCF of these two numbers is 12. So, definitely both the numbers are multiples of 12. A, I write it as 12x, B, I write it as 12y. So, 12x into 12y is 1728. What is x into y? It is 1728 by 12 into 12. So, x into y should be equal to 12 because 1728 is 12 cube and this is 12 into 12, 12 square. So, 12 cube by 12 square is 12. Now, x into y is 12. Now, what are the values possible? for x and y so that x into y is 12. Now, the possible values are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. But we know that we need to select only the pairs which are co-primes. Now, 1 and 12 are they co-primes? Yes, 
2 and 6 are they co primes? No, because 2 and 6 are both even numbers, so they cannot be co primes. 3 and 4, yes. So, how many pairs are possible? 2 pairs. Now, let us discuss the next model of questions in this chapter. A man had some chocolates with him. If he distributes equally among 36 students, then 32 chocolates will be remaining with him. If he distributes equally among 45 students, then 41 chocolates will remain with him. And if he distributes equally among 54 students, then 50 chocolates will remain with him. Find the minimum number of chocolates the man has. Now, before we solve this problem, some basic points that we need to understand to solve this problem. Suppose I say I have 23 chocolates with me and I want to distribute equally among 5 students. Then how many chocolates will each student get and how many chocolates will be remaining with me? Let us see. So, when I say I have 23 chocolates and I want to distribute equally among 5 students, then definitely I have to divide 23 with 5, 5 fourths 20 and the remainder is 3. That is, each student gets 4 chocolates and 3 chocolates will be remaining with me. Now, if suppose I ask like this, now I have 23 chocolates. If suppose I do not want any chocolate to be remaining with me, what is the minimum number of chocolates I should have more than 23? Then obviously, the answer should be 2. If I have 2 chocolates more than 23, that is if I have 25 chocolates, then obviously the remainder here should be 0 because 25 is exactly divisible by 5. Now, how did you get this 2? It is very simple divisor minus the remainder gives you 2. So, I should have 2 chocolates more than 23 so that the remainder here is 0 or how many chocolates should I have less than 23 so that the remainder here is 0 that is no chocolate is remaining with me. Definitely the answer should be 3 that value depends upon the remainder. So, either I should have 2 chocolates more than 23 or I should have 3 chocolates less than 23 so that no chocolate is remaining with me. Now, using this simple basic point, we are going to answer this question. Now, let us start the solution for this problem. A man had some chocolates with him. Now, let us assume that the man had x chocolates with him. If he distributes equally among 36 students, so this x I need to divide with 36 and he will be remaining with 32 chocolates. So, the remainder here is 32 chocolates. Now, I do not know how many chocolates each student gets, but I know that 32 chocolates are remaining with him. Same x chocolates, if they are distributed equally among 45 students that is x if I divide with 45 the remainder is 41 same x if I divide with 54 the remainder is 50. I want what is the value of x that to the minimum value of x. Now, why did I ask you minimum let us think of, talk about it later. Now, x if I divide with 36 the remainder is 32. If suppose I want a remainder 0 here, instead of 32, if I want a remainder 0 here, what is the number I need to add to x? Definitely, I need to add 4 to x. This 4 is nothing but the difference of 36 and 32 or I need to subtract 32. 
either I need to add 4 or I need to subtract 32. Now here if I want a remainder 0 either I need to add 4 or I need to subtract 41. Here if I want a remainder 0 either add 4 or subtract 50. Now what is that we can do common in all add 4. So, if I add 4 to x then x plus 4 will be a number if I divide with 36 remainder is 0 x plus 4 when I divide with 45 remainder is 0. So, x plus 4 should also be a multiple of 45 x plus 4 when I divide with 54 remainder is 0. So, x plus 4 should also be a multiple of 54. So, what is this x plus 4? x plus 4 is a number which is a common multiple of 36, 45 and 54. Now, how many common multiples will be there? If I ask you what is a common multiple of 3 and 4, generally answer is 12, but 12 is the least common multiple. All the multiples of 12 are the common multiples of 3 and 4 and you have infinite common multiples for 3 and 4. In the same way, now x plus 4 is a common multiple of 36, 45 and 54. So, definitely you should have infinite answers for this, but if you look into the question, I asked you minimum that means I am talking about least common multiple. So, x plus 4 should be the LCM of 36, 45 and 54. Now, calculating the LCM we get x plus 4 is 540. So, x should be equal to 536. So, the chocolates the man has that is the minimum is 536. Now, let us discuss the next question in this chapter. The LCM and HCF of two numbers is 360 and 18 respectively. If the sum of the two numbers is 162, then find the greatest of the two numbers. Now, we have two numbers whose HCF of the two numbers is 18. So, definitely we know that both the numbers should be multiples of 18. So, I assume the first number is 18 into x and the second number is 18 into y. The LCM of these two numbers is given as 360. Now, what is the LCM of 18x and 18y? The LCM of 18x and 18y is 18 into x into y which is equal to 360. So, what is x into y? x into y should be equal to 360 by 18. So, x into y is 20. Now, this is one part of the question where we are talking about LCM and HCF. Now, it is also given that the sum of the two numbers is 162. We assume the two numbers as 18x and 18y. So, according to the question 18x plus 18y should be equal to 162. We take out 18 common x plus y is 162. So, x plus y should be equal to 162 by 18 x plus y is 9. Now, what are the values we can assign to x and y so that x into y is 20 and x plus y is 9. Obviously, the two values should be 5 and 4 because 5 plus 4 is 9 and 5 into 4 is 20. I want the greatest of the two numbers. So, definitely the greatest of the two numbers is 18 into 5 90. So, the answer for this question is 90. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at www.youtube.com slash Naresh IT.